Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shraddha and I make videos on life in Germany. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the documents that you need for English taught program and then talk about the German taught program. And at the end, I will also talk about the ways in which you can get your documents certified or verified or notarized or attested. There are different types of ways and which one is the correct and which one is not. So I will also discuss that in the end. And um, as you you all know that English taught program has higher competition so the amount of documents that you need for English taught program is naturally more as compared to the German taught program so make sure that you watch this video till the end so that you have a complete picture of what documents are needed and how they should be tested so that you don't get any problem once you send your documents to uni assist or to the university so without further ado let's get started First, I will talk about the documents that you need for both English and German taught program and then I will segregate into English and German what specific documents you need in English taught program and German taught program. If you are applying for masters, you need your bachelor uh, certificate, your bachelor degree completion certificate and if you are applying for a uh, bachelor, then you need your diploma certificate or your 12th standard uh, certificate that you have completed your 12th standard. The second document that you need is your transcript which will give a uh, German University the idea of which subjects you have taken and what was the credit because this is important document for them to analyze to understand that what was your bachelor about and is it relevant to the course that you are applying to so that transcript plays a very important role and every university has different format of giving transcript so you have to go to your university and ask for transcript like mine university just attend tested all the mark sheet that I had and gave one cover page stating that her mark sheet is uh, attested and she received uh, this much of percentage in overall bachelor's degree and this is also considered as a transcript. The third most important document that you need is your CV and make sure that you make it very nicely and take it very seriously. I will link down the website where you can just go and make your CV online and it is Europass. It is in European format CV. In your CV you can list down all the subjects that you had in your bachelor what internship you did, um, what work experience you have, if you have any publications that you have published and all those things you can list down in that one and half page or one page is also good enough I would say but yeah two is the limit don't go beyond that. The most important document that you need is your letter of motivation. Make sure that you watch this video till the end so that you have idea what all you have to write in your letter of motivation to impress the admission committee and get admitted to your dream university. Number fifth document that you need is your 10th and 12th mark sheet or your uh, certificate of completion. Number sixth important document that you need is your copy of your passport and also some of your photographs so please make sure that you have a good photograph attached in your application letter and also uh, have your passport copies ready because that is also needed number seventh number seventh important document that you need is nobody talks about but I would say that it is really essential when you're applying to university when you attach a cover letter stating that these are the documents that you're applying with these are the list of the documents that you have presented your certificates your internship certificates your resume your in letter of motivation your letter of recommendation so, so that they have a clear picture okay these are the documents that you have applied with sometimes they have this thing in your university application itself that there is a field where you have to just check mark or just take which documents you have submitted and sometimes if they do not have it then please make sure that you prepare a cover letter stating that you're applying to this university in this course with these documents that you have listed below it gives the impression that yes you are someone who likes to organize things and who like to um, specify what all documents you are sending so that there is no confusion and it will also help you in checklisting that okay you have applied with all the necessary documents 
that the university has asked you to yeah these are the i think these are the documents that you need for both german as well as english taught program you need at least two letter of recommendation from your professor or you can also get one from your professor and one where you are working from your employer or from your manager or someone who knows you well that is also okay so at least two letter of recommendation are good now i will talk about english taught program what specific documents you need for english taught program so the first, first important document that you need for english taught program is your language proficiency in english so that could be proven by your ielts score which should be above 6 in some cases and sometimes it's also asked 6.5 and above so it depends on university and you have to check the university requirement what are they asking for is it 6 or is it 6.5 or above you can also prove the language proficiency by submitting toefl score which is also mentioned in some of the website of the university how much score do they want and some of the university don't need any ielts don't need any toefl they just ask for your degree stating that your medium of instruction during your bachelor's was in english so you will have to again check in the university what they are asking for and then you can apply with all the documents number second specific document that you need for english taught program is gre score some universities ask for gre score and they also mention how much do they want uh, how much score do they want in which of the section so that is also university specific you will have to check the university website what requirement they have about gre or gate score so they ask sometimes if you have gate score so just go through the university website and have a look what they are asking for do they ask for gre or gate or both are optional then yeah you can submit as as per the requirement and sometimes even english taught program ask for german language proficiency so just check on the website which certificate they are asking usually they ask for goethe or they will ask for test daf so you will have to go to the university to check the requirement and usually it is a1 or a2 not beyond that for english taught program so just make sure that you go through the website and check whether they need german language proficiency or not I'm sorry today I'm shooting outside and that is the reason why I don't shoot outside sometimes it's sunny sometimes it's cloudy I don't know I can't really help it and you guys keep on telling me that I should shoot outside it's so cloudy that it's really not good lighting i'm sorry for that let me finish this video and then. now let's talk about german taught programs as you all know that germans don't go for masters because they get really good paid job when they are finished with their bachelor so usually they don't go for masters and this is the reason why you have good chance if you have low grades i would say below 65 if you have then also you have good chance to get admitted to german taught program and in german taught programs you don't need that much of documents as you need in english taught program like you don't need any gre or gate score you don't need any english language proficiency certificate you just need your german language proficiency proof and which you can prove by test daf or by goethe certificate or by telc exam so these are the three options that you have usually telc exam is in germany and it is not in india i would say yeah i think so it is not in india i think goethe is the universal and everyone is accepting goethe but yeah you can also go for test daf in which you will have to score four points in each section in telc exam you will have to take c1 hochschule exam to prove your language proficiency for university there is a chance like some university allow you to apply with b1 or b2 level based on their university requirement and once you get admitted and once you go there for enrollment then they ask for c1 or c2 level of german proficiency so that is also very important point to note that some university allow you with b1 or b2 level when you are applying to german university number 3 is how you can get your documents notarized or attested or certified in india so like I went to German embassy to get my documents attested. There is a timing given in German embassy in Delhi and they have this timing of attestation. So I went there with all my documents. Usually you have to go with like one original set and two or three set that you want to be attested. 
and they attest up to three uh, sets for free and after that there are some charges make sure that you bring your uh, ID card with you yeah, because you or if it is by notary then you should get it tested by a notary with the stamp which is oval or round in shape that is also very important for them to accept your document otherwise it will not be acceptable so how you get your documents attested it is also mentioned in uni assist website I will show you in this if you have the bunch of documents that you want to be attested then you have this original documents the set and your photocopies in the same way as the original if the original has both sides then you also have to get your photocopies both sides. then you make the set of three or four as much as you want and then you bind them and get the stamp of notary or the government body on the papers at the edge of the papers and also on the front page and signing that is the way that uni assist has asked to get your documents attested or notarized and i also saw one university which specified it clearly that they will only be accepting documents that are attested by german embassy so this is also very important that you read the criteria that university has if they are accepting the documents attested by only German embassy or they are accepting the documents notarized by notary so that is also important point and make sure if they are going through uni assist you follow the uni assist guideline each university has its own requirement and you have to adhere to its requirement I can't uh, generalize things because every university has different criteria I'm sorry for the lighting today because yeah the weather outside is very unpredictable these days in Germany please give this video a like if you really like this video and also share it with your friends who might be interested to study in Germany and I will come up with next video which will be more helpful to you and I will see you in the next video till then bye